Welcome back everybody. I'm going to teach you about an interesting property named shadow, the text shadow or the border shadow. We can apply both of them but right now I'm just going to guide you about applying the text shadow first then the box shadow. Well you know that we have a box here you can see that uh, the div one if I just go to the browser and refresh now you can see that it's pretty simple. So what I'm just doing here, I'm just typing something like uh, the text, okay, now refresh, okay, it's looking perfect. So what I'm just doing more, actually I'm just adding some padding, I'm adding padding about 100 pixels and refreshing. It becomes very big. So I'm just removing its height and width, so now refresh, now it depends only on the padding of the text, so that's why the text is in the center of the box looking awesome great if I just remove the background the extra things now you can see that it's looking pretty awesome because of I just only apply the padding now so now I'm applying some more things I'm applying the font size here the font size I'm applying as uh, um, 20 pixels I'm just testing that if the 20 pixels will look good so okay otherwise okay now it is looking perfect so what more I'm just doing, I'm applying the text shadow for now, text shadow and which color do you want to apply with this? First of all, I'm just going to apply the background, I'm just going to change the color, simple color. I'm just applying the red one and there I'm applying the text shadow. So there you have to put two things, the from or actually to right or from left and from top to bottom okay so just just consider to right and from bottom okay to bottom so first of all to left I just want to put um, 2px to left to right sorry sorry about that to right to right okay and 2px again to bottom okay I'm just talking about the shadow the actual text will remain on a place but the shadow will be placed to right two pixels to bottom two pixels and the color I'm just uh, putting as black. I can put any color whatever I prefer. So I'm just putting the black here. Refresh. Now you can see that the actual color is red. As you can see here, the actual color is red. Where is the? Yeah. And to button and to left, it's uh, 2px. But do you want to put the 10px to left, uh, to right, sorry. 10px to right. So I just put it 10px and refresh now. From from left to right, it's 10px because you can see that the place has changed. If I just apply it around 50 pixels, so refresh this back, and now you can see that the place has been changed a lot more. That means it's going on, and I'm just putting the 2px back and refresh. Okay, this is awesome. But do you want to apply the blow the glow too with this text uh, with the text shadow? Yeah, I want to apply. So I'm just applying the 5 pixels of glow. The glow I'm adding at the very last just before the color so refresh now the text is glowing now and looking awesome and why the text is glowing because I just put it the value of glowing five pixels if I just put the two pixels so now it's glowing but very little okay if I just apply the 10 peak pixels so refresh now it's glowing very much so the size has been actually the font is spread it too much so now if I just put it the 5 pixels back and just put it the 0 pixels and the 0 pixels and save and refresh now. It is, it, it's looking very awesome this why. I'm just updating the font size. I'm just putting 40px okay instead of the 20px. So refresh now. Now why it's looking beautiful just because I just put the 0 at the position. So actually it's really on the back on the very back of the shadow or of the original text. Okay. 0 pixels to, to right and 0 pixels to bottom and the 5 pixels glowing so it's glowing only for now you can put any effect for example if I just put the red color instead of the red color I just put the white color so refresh and this is looking awesome too okay so what more I just want to teach you I just want to teach you about the box shadow for now but before that why not I teach you to apply multiple text shadows yes we can apply the multiples so I'm just putting 2px here, 2px and adding a comma. First of all, just see this, refresh and just make it um, 
actually remove this one okay I'm not putting the shadow for now the glow for now okay only 2 px and 2 px okay awesome I'm just applying the 5 and 5 now 5 px refresh okay looking perfect so then just add a comma and put the 7 px 7 px oh yeah 7 px and the color is red save and refresh now you can see that the multiple effects and in the same way I can apply more I'm applying the 9px 9px okay and the color is blue I can apply any color you know save and go to the browser and refresh now the blue color has been applied too so basically we just we just apply three colors here I'm just going back 0 0 0 0 and 0 and 0 or why not I just make a new one because uh, this should be here to just help you the div2 and duplicate and this should be div2 again and for now I'm just putting 0 only 0 0 oh sorry about that remove this space here 0 and 0 and 0 okay awesome I'm putting the 5px first of all the 2px for the first shadow the 4px and the 6px for now I'll just check if it if it will good look refresh now the multiple shadows but it's not looking really awesome so the 5px for the first and the 7px and the 9px save and refresh now you can see that the multiple shadows okay here and it's feeling actually and looking really cool in the same way we can apply the box shadow too so what I just need to do I just need to go back zoom out and just go there and applying and, and I'm, I'm applying the box shadow with the div 1 so first of all put the value of box shadow and do almost same I'm just typing here the 5px and 5px and I'm not putting the glow now I'm just simply putting the color I'm just putting as uh, the red for now save and go to the browser and refresh now it has the red color as the butter awesome I'm applying the 5px as the you know the glow so refresh okay it's glowing a little bit if I just apply the 20 pixels so it will glow more okay looking perfect what more I need I'm just going back to the notepad and simply copying this one the box shadow and applying to the div2 but for the div2 I'm just putting the 0px and the 0px again only the 0 when you're putting the 0 as value so you, you just don't need to put the px it's okay with the 0 only just to teach you okay now save and refresh now you can see the difference between these both of them actually you can see that it has uh, a little dark but not from the left side or the top side but it's uh, actually on, a, on every corner of this box but in some cases you just want to apply the effect on the bottom only so what I'm just doing I'm just duplicating this one and uh, what next I'm doing the div 3 and simply copying and just making the div 3 okay and as the background color I'm just putting the white for now the div 3 save and refresh now the white color and I'm, I'm removing the border for now okay I'm just thinking about creating something really interesting I just removed the border okay awesome what more I need I just need to change the background the shadow color I'm just putting the silver instead of the red okay this is looking something really cool or you you can see this effect multiple times in the web page in any web page by the way the thing is I'm removing the shadow from the top so what I'm just doing I'm just typing 4px instead of 0 and refresh now you can see that it's on the 0 for now so in this way you can create something really interesting and do you wanna learn one more interesting thing if I just go there and duplicate the div 3 to div 4 and just copy the div 3 and apply as div 4 okay so basically you know that if I just refresh okay the same effect I got here but actually here we are just applying I'm, I'm just applying the box shadow I'm just adding any space just after the color and typing in set okay the outset or the inside now 
uh, because I just applied the insert you can see that all these effects are going inside of the box and looking awesome yes you can do this one too and this is the shadow chapter which is about to ending you just need to try and practice and we'll meet in the next class so guys stay tuned